You're going to need custom recovery and root. I have a video on how to root. I'll put it in the description. It's pretty simple. It's just a self-destructing EXE that roots, flashes stock, and everything with just simple little clicks. I suggest going to the market and downloading Goo Manager. It will keep your ROM, recovery, and Google Apps up to date. And it's super easy to click check for updates. Right now we're on a completely stock ROM. And I want to go ahead and say that this case is awesome. But it's literally a magnet for fur and stuff. Which we have two cats. See? Now it's nice and clean. One really big reason I want CyanogenMod 9, and so does my wife, which AOKP is based off CM9, just a lot more customized options on top of it, is because you don't have reboot options or anything extra on this screen at all. I like to just reboot my phone instead of powering it down and then powering it back on. So when you're in Goo Manager, to make sure you have the latest recovery, checking for updates should notify you. If not, you can press up here and go to Install Open Script Recovery, choose Yes, and then press Yes, and it will download the latest recovery. It automatically reboots by itself. Trust me, it does this on my Evo 3D, Transformer Prime, Galaxy Nexus, and HP Touchpad. Mm -hmm. Sweet, now we have the absolute latest custom recovery. From here, you're gonna to wanna to go into your ROM, open up Titanium Backup, and back up all your apps, because you're gonna to have to do a wipe when you're going from CyanogenMod to AOKP. All right. She's using Nova Launcher. I'm using Nova Launcher on all my devices, and we're gonna install AOKP on her Galaxy tab, and then AOKP comes with Nova, but we have Nova Prime, which is worth it, because you get a whole lot of extra options that you don't get with the free one. Like she has it towards it flips like that between the screens. So we're gonna launch Titanium back up. Gotta get rid of the filters if you have any, otherwise it'll only back up a couple apps. All right, press menu, batch. You can back up all new apps and newer versions and then do modified data, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do it like I've never done it before. That way when you do your factory reset and you launch AOKP, you can restore the apps that you really want to keep. If you don't have Titanium Backup Pro, it's going to be a pain in the ass restoring each app one by one. Install, done, install, done, install, done to 181 apps. So I highly recommend you go out and purchase the pro version. I have a full review of it and I am gonna update it here in the next couple months. So it's a backup finished. We're done with that. So we're gonna go back to Goo Manager and we're gonna choose Browse Compatible ROMs. AOKP, Toro Plus, which is our device, and then Milestone 5. Begin download. You also want to do the Google Apps. If you do not do the Google Apps, you will not have the Google Play Store. And then begin download on the actual ROM. Normally I don't waste people's time by doing a separate how to install and review video, but this one's going to be quite lengthy, so I'm going to go ahead and just make this the install video and show the ROM off just a little bit. Like I said, when I get the Sprint HTC EVO 4 G LTE, after a week of using it and doing my full review, I will use this device and try to have a full review of everything I've learned about AOKP. I've never installed AOKP on a device before, so doing a review and never actually using it, except for while I'm recording the video, doesn't seem like a review to me. The download is complete for the Google Apps, now we're waiting for the actual ROM to download. We did a full backup with Titanium Backup, but I'm going to go ahead and open up Nova Launcher, Nova Settings, and then Back Up, and OK. Now everything that we've customized about the settings where it flips, spins, and all the icons that we place on the screen, all those will get restored because AOKP ROM comes with Nova Launcher by default. So you won't have to re-add everything all over again. I want to give a quick thanks to the people that follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is the same exact name on here. What would Josh do? Okay, the download failed, probably because it's a bad Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go ahead and browse for compatible ROMs and re-download it in the living room where the Wi-Fi is strong. But anyways, I've won that Connectify thing. They're gonna send me a pro license, so that's pretty freaking awesome. And I wanna thank everybody that participated and helped out with that. As you just saw, I got an error. So I'm gonna go ahead and just download it using Firefox. 
and copy this and then download it. I use down them all because you can input the MD5 and make sure that it matches exactly what it's supposed to be. Plus it downloads a whole lot faster than if I was doing it from my phone. And right here it's verifying it. It matched. Cut or copy. It's up to you. And then go to your Galaxy Nexus. I went to the Goo Manager folder and then this is where I'm going to paste it. Safely eject the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. And now we're going to go back to the phone. Here we are back at the phone. The only reason it failed is because I have very bad Wi-Fi signal, as you can clearly see right there. Trust me, Goo Manager updates my Evo 3D, Transformer Prime, Galaxy Tab, HP Touchpad, and other devices just fine without going to the computer. Flash ROMs. We're going to choose the Google add-ons. Again, you won't have the Google Play Store if you don't do that, so you won't be able to download apps. And then the ROM. Order and flash selected. Make sure the ROM is on top because that's going to be installed first. Then the Google add on second. I'm going to choose all three options just in case. And then wipe because you're going to have to wipe to install this ROM. Trust me. If you do not wipe, you might as well not even install this ROM. Everything looks good. If we ever need to go back to the stock ROM, we are okay. And you can actually use Odin and flash a file to the phone that makes the Sprint Galaxy Nexus completely stock. I mean completely. And then from there, all you got to do is relock the bootloader. And again, I'm going to have a video on all this in time. I promise I will. Flash. Yes, it might ask you for super user, but I've already done this before, so it's not going to ask me for super user. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this up and speed through this. It looks like now it's actually installing the ROM. Awesome. Google add-ons. This will be very quick, too. Moment of truth. Here we go. Ah, check that out. AOKP ROM on the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. It just vibrated. Go ahead and set all this up. As you've heard me say in a lot of my videos, I get very bad service where I live because it's an apartment complex with several other apartments above me. So my SD card completely failed and I was unable to record anymore. <laughs> I had to transfer 16 gigabytes worth of footage to my hard drive so I could empty the SD card and start over. All that I've done is I had to take the phone outside to get a good signal. It took like literally three minutes. I kept restarting the phone and thinking it was never going to finish. I swear to you, it took a while. But finally I activated it. Of course, asked me to sign into my Google account. Do I want to keep this device? synced up with my Google account. Do I want to, you know, I needed to accept the privacy things or decline it and I went ahead and accepted them. And then it takes you to the home screen and it starts downloading everything that you've purchased and downloaded recently. If you choose the option, keep this device synced to my Google account. Only two things are actually going to pop up. Launcher and Nova Launcher. Launcher is the stock ICS launcher. Nothing's different about it. It comes with Nova Launcher, something that I've been using, my wife has been using on all of our devices, and I really enjoy it. Everything that I've recently downloaded is back on here. So I'm going to go to Menu, to the Settings. Holy cow. I need to clear everything. It's downloading every single app. You have to press on this to turn Wi-Fi on, and then you can just turn stuff off and on by pressing on it. And these are totally customizable. This is your brightness. So that's pretty freaking sweet. You can quickly change your brightness with a slider. Not sure how to get to all the other settings. So what I'm going to do is hold down, choose Nova Actions, and then Nova Settings. And then from here I can press Backup, Restore. I'm going to choose this one. I've never have. never had to restore it before. So this will be the first time. Press on it and press OK. Sweet. It's going to require a reboot for everything to start showing up correctly. And you see that? It restored widgets just freaking fine. It's awesome. I love Nova Launcher. AOKP gives you a lot of things. I don't know why it says no service, because it activated just fine. <laughs> there is a lot of apps on here. So with the Tinian backup, you can go to menu, batch, 
Restore all apps with data. I would choose this one right here since your Google account just restored everything. And make sure you deselect all because you do not want to restore the red things. Restoring the red things can lead to you needing to wipe your phone and reinstall the ROM. Basically a factory reset. Trust me. Obviously some things like Flash Player don't need to be restored. Maybe you've changed settings in that and you want that restored. Or your Amazon Kindle account to be restored. There are going to be some red things that you can restore. But be very careful. Ad free doesn't need anything restored. Box does. Such and such. You know what I'm getting to. That's pretty neat because it's going to also restore all the custom alarms that she has set. This is a neat one. It'll restore all of the Wi-Fi access points you've connected to. But when you check the keep this device synced to my Google account, it automatically pulls your Wi-Fi access points that you've saved in the past. So I didn't even have to enter in my Wi-Fi stuff because it automatically just connected. And these with the check mark through them are not currently installed. And then just run batch operation. And look how quick that is. You don't have to start over in Angry Birds, Field Runners, all your plume settings are going to be restored which is the best freaking Twitter app in my honest opinion. If you restored anything that was red, it's going to tell you to reboot because that was a system backup. Mm -hmm. And trust me, you want to restore the red things as little as possible or make a backup before you do. And then I'm going to choose Nova Launcher by default. And go ahead and restart. You can actually add things to this screen. I'm going to reboot to see if it clears up all the icons on the desktop. So as you see, some of these still don't have the icons, and clicking on it says it's not installed. So that's actually an app that we're going to have to download from the Google Play Store, because Gmail is a system app. Apps like Gmail and YouTube are from Google, and they cannot include them in the ROM. Successfully installed Gmail. Now it launches just fine. You're going to have to go to the settings, and check Sync Gmail. And it will load up all your conversations. Obviously, you don't need to see all those. You know what? You don't really have to reboot. I should be able to just restart Nova Launcher. And Gmail should show up just fine. Ah, look at that. So that just means I got to restore the App Store from Titanium Backup. Because right now it's not installed. But other than that, tap to restore a widget. Oh, that's sweet. See? All the widgets are restoring just fine. That was the reboot one that we don't need from Titanium Backup. And all the plume settings are restored. You don't have to log into each and every one of your accounts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will motivate me to make more Galaxy Nexus videos. If you want to see a video on how to flash this thing completely stock in case you need to take it to Sprint, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. This is What Was Josh Doing? I'm out.